we come to Rosh Hashanah, we come to the new year, we hear the blowing of the shofar, and we say, that's enough? Is that enough? Rabbi, are you done? 101 vo- uh, sound? Is that enough? You know what it's likened to? There was a person that lived in the village, and he went to the metropolis, to the great town, to the great city. He's walking over there, and all of a sudden he hears sirens. And he asks the people, what is this siren? They tell him, you don't know? This is a siren that alerts the fire station, that brings the fire trucks, that brings the firemen, because there's a fire in the town, and they have to extinguish the fire. He says, wow, amazing. This is what the siren does? I gotta buy one of these sirens. I gotta buy one of these sirens. And he goes and he asks around in his local siren place, or wherever you buy a siren from, maybe a local Costco. So he goes and he buys a siren. He takes the siren and he goes back to his village. And they all look at him like, what, what is this? This is a new invention, a new creation. I mean, this is a new creation? What do you have over here? He says, all our problems are solved. I have this siren. What does the siren do? You just wait and see. Sure enough, after a few days, there was a great fire in the town, in the village. He says, leave it up to me. I got the siren. He puts the siren on. He puts it on. Wah, wah, wah. And the people are telling him, meanwhile, the house is burning down. He says, don't worry. I saw it happen in the town. I saw it happen in the great city. Don't worry. The siren's still going on in Manuel, and the fire consumes the whole house. The whole house burns down. They tell him, what have you done? He says, this is what I saw in the city. They say, you fool. The siren is supposed to alert the firemen to come and extinguish the fire, to put out the fire. If you have no firemen, what good is the siren? That's the analogy. The lesson is, the moral lesson is, we can hear the shofar all we want. We can hear the blowing of the ram's horn all we want. We can hear the 101 voices all we want. However, if we don't put something into action, what good is the shofar? You can blow the shofar on the new year, or blow the shofar on a Thursday every afternoon. Doesn't mean anything. The shofar, I'm sorry? It's not only the kavana, it's a plan of action. You know, many people are in the Amazon business. We should never know if they shut down your Amazon account, the first thing they ask you is, we well, want a plan of action. Which means we want to see, what are you going to do with all... Um, am I speaking Chinese here? You guys know what Amazon is, right? Okay, you guys know what Amazon is. They say, if you don't bring down these listings, that's it, we'll shut down your account. So you're supposed to give us a plan of action. What are you ready to do? That's what Hashem wants. That's what our Creator wants. He doesn't want us to hear only the ram's horn the voices, the sounds, the blowings. No. What is your plan of action for the new year? Are you willing to change? Are you willing to change? That's all I want from you. How much of a change? To each their own. But are you willing to change? Are you standing in front of me on judgment day? And by the way, the judgment day is supposed to be the happiest day of the year. What do you mean? It's judgment day. God is judging us. But who's judging you? Your father the compassion Father, the Creator that loves you so much. He wants to write you in the book of life. He wants to inscribe you in only good deeds and only good decrees. So the Father is waiting for you. How much are you willing to change? It's not enough just to hear the blowing of the shofar. 